Ukraine deleted presidential election results from FCT Vivas, says Forensic Xbox. 97,000 passports uncollected nationwide, according to the Immigration Service. NLC, TUC, CSOs rise against hype in electricity tariff. From the global scene, all five on U.S. Titanic submarine killed after catastrophic implosion. Russia killed 136 children in Ukraine in 2022, according to the United Nations. Welcome to the Forefront Media TV News Hour. I am Fable Anthony. Remember, if you haven't followed us on any of our social media handles, please go do so now. Follow us on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and Instagram at the Forefront Media NG. And now to details from the local scene. INEC deleted presidential election results from FCT PIVAS, says Forensic Expert. A digital forensic expert, Hitler Nwala, told the Presidential Election Petition Court, PEPC, in Abuja, that the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, deliberately deleted all the results of presidential election from the bimodal voter accreditation system, PIVAS machines, of the Federal Capital Territory, FCT, under the guise of preparing for the March 18th governorship election. 97,000 passports uncollected nationwide, according to the Immigration Service. The Nigerian Immigration Service says about 97,000 passport booklets issued were uncollected in the 36 states nationwide, including the Federal Capital Territory, FCT. The service public Relations Officer, Comptroller of Immigration, Mr. Tony Akuneme, said this in an interview with the news agency of Nigeria, NAN, on, t on Friday in Abuja. NLC, TUC, CSOs rise against hikes in electricity tariff. The Nigerian Labor Congress, NLC, Trade Union Congress, TUC, and Civil Society Organization, CSOs, Yesterday, rejected the planned 40% hike in electricity tariff, which takes effect on July 1st, calling on government to shelve the increase. Still on the local scene. Paris submits subsidy removal, foreign exchange policy needed for survival, says President Tinubu. We are ready for business. Prepare to welcome investment as Tinubu exchanges pleasantries with French President Macron. The video via Arise News. The World Health Organization. There is the President of Nigeria, Bola Tinubu, greeting Emmanuel Macron. They're sharing a hug there. Uh, and he's going to be, President Tinubu is going to be, of course, part of a, a banquet. And there's the President Macron. Claims lawyers frustrating anti graft war unfounded, says NBA president. The NBA will not allow or in any way subscribe to any arrangement that will subject the legal profession to the regulatory control of third parties. NERC issues 50 new power generations, metering licenses. The commission also approved 13 mini-grid permits, 14 registration certificates, for many grids with individual capacities below 1 megawatts. The debt management office worries over low revenues as Nigeria's debt nears its 1 trillion naira. The federal government will be unable to borrow a lot as it nears its self-imposed debt, debt limit of 40%, the debt management office has said. Federal government states Local government areas share 786 billion naira May revenue. FAAC disclosed this in a communique issued at the end of its latest meeting in Abuja on Thursday. Tinubu didn't approve salary increase for government officials, says Presidency. The statement was titled No Presidential Approval for Salary Increase for Political Office Holders 
and judicial officers. INEC reveals conduct of 2023 polls. The major opposition parties, the People's Democratic Party and the Labour Party are currently in court challenging the outcome of the polls. We are going on a short break, but still to come. All five on Titanic submarine killed after catastrophic implosion. Russia killed 136 children in Ukraine in 2022, says the United Nations. For sports, after this timeout. Watch Euro's biggest league such as Premier League, La Liga, Serie A, Champions League, and other sports. Visit our website www.theforefrontng.com. For more inquiries, message us on WhatsApp plus 234 81 24 62 08 27. Follow us on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram at the Forefront Media NG. Welcome back from that short break. Don't forget to follow us on our social media handles Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and Instagram at the Forefront Media NG. All five on US Titanic submarine killed after catastrophic implosion. All five people aboard a submersible that went missing near the wreck of the Titanic died likely in an instant when their vessel suffered what the US Coast Guard said Thursday was a catastrophic implosion in the ocean depths. Russia killed 136 children in Ukraine in 2022, according to United Nations. The Russian army was included on a United Nations list of organizations that commit serious offenses against children in armed conflicts. DNA needed to identify bodies after Honduras women's prison gang battle. 20 of the 46 inmates killed when gang members in a women's prison sprayed the rivals with gunfire and then set them ablaze. Now to the world of sports. In the Nigerian Federation Cup, insurance of Benin defeated all fours Enugu Rangers 1-0, courtesy of a mother strike from the spot in the final in Asaba, Delta State on Wednesday, and governors Obaseki and Diri have lauded the champions. Chelsea honors by French Ligue 1 club Strasbourg within a year of acquiring the London outfit. With this, we come to the end of the Forefront Media TV News Hour. Until we come your way again next time, enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you.